Elena, the homecoming dance is tonight and we need to practice our dance moves. Yeah, let's go to the gym. Okay, let's do that. All right, I think we're ready for the dance now. I'll pick you up at 7.20. 20? That reminds me, we have to go film the 20th edition of the EDS News. Let's go! <sighs> this week on What's Hot, the government shutdown. This week, President Trump outlined his plan to reopen the government, which has been closed for more than four weeks. Trump called his plan a common sense compromise that both parties should embrace and said this is a chance for a real bipartisan immigration reform. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said no to Trump's proposal to end the government shutdown. In a statement, Pelosi maintained the Democrats' stance that they would only negotiate once Trump reopens the government. She also called the initiatives in Trump's offer unacceptable. Polls are showing that an overwhelming majority of Americans don't think a border wall is a worth a shutdown, and President Trump's job rating is now sitting below 40%. As government workers face missing a second paycheck, and politicians in Washington seem unable to negotiate a deal, it is unclear if an end to the shutdown will come anytime soon. That's it for What's Hot. Tune in next week for more shutdown information. Remember to mark your calendars and set your alarms for Friday, February 8th. We will gather in the gym for fun games and activities organized by our cheer team and their coaches, while Channel 44 News provides coverage during their morning broadcast. Please arrive by 6.45 a.m. so we all have time to get set in the gym when the cameras start rolling for the 7 o'clock segment. That evening, plan to cheer on our boys basketball team at their senior night. This girl is on fire! Fifth grader Ingrid Braden has been on a winning streak. In addition to winning the spelling bee last month, yesterday she added school geography bee winner on her list of accolades. As if that wasn't enough, her essay, The Women's Suffrage Campaign for the Daughter of American Revolution Contest was selected as a citywide winner this week. Go to the EDS website to read her award-winning essay. Day Schools is so excited to be hosting the fourth annual Family Fun Night on Monday, January 28th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Bring your family to this fun event, which will include many options of local vendors, such as Pizza Revolution, EVV Photo Booth, Backyard Blast, Hoops of Feather, and a video game truck from Paragon Promotions. We need your help to set up the hot cocoa bar, cupcake decorating, temporary tattoo table, bounty house monitoring, and cleaning up. We hope to see you there. This week on upcoming events. Today there is an archery tournament and the homecoming dance is from 7.30 to 9. Tomorrow the archery tournament will continue and there is a homecoming game, so make sure to come out and support the Eagles. On Monday, January 28th, there is family fun night from 5.30 to 7. That's it for upcoming events. Tune in next week for more. Congratulations, Audrey. After a year of practice, freshman Audrey Arthur has earned a place on the AAU national tumbling team. She will get to attend a special camp, perform at the Junior Olympics, and compete in the USAG and AAU competitions. Way to go, Audrey. Now it's time for this week's twisted edition of In the Hall, where we put EDS students on the hot seat. What is the first thing you see in an emergency, but you only see it twice in a lifetime? A doctor. I don't know. I, mm, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what time of day is spelled the same forwards and backwards? Hmm. 11 11. Noon. 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 I am heavy forwards and not backwards. Where am I? A garbage truck. <laughs> Heavy? What question can you never honestly say yes to? Now for this week's sports. The homecoming basketball game is on Saturday. The theme for this year's homecoming is Western. Yeehaw! 
Make sure to come out and support the Eagles as well as your class's homecoming representatives. That's it for this week on sports. Tune in next week for more sports action. Thank goodness we finished filming the 20th edition of the EDS News right before the dance. Join, Join us next week for the 21st edition of the EDS, EDS News. Now let's go boogie!